Hammers up, everyone. Tally here, back on the War Within Alpha. We're going to be checking out the trinkets from the first raid of the War Within and the dungeons themselves. So the raid we're going to be looking at is the Narubar Palace. Is that the name of it? I don't remember that from, like, BlizzCon, but I guess that's what it is. Narubar Palace. Um, and the only gear that's available to check out is actually just the trinkets. So it looks like Blizzard wants us to take a little sneak peek as to what might be coming uh, in terms of trinkets in the first season. So let's take a look at this trinket that comes from the Bloodbound Horror, the Aberrant Spellforge. It is the intellect based. Equip. Accumulate dark power from the Spellforge every 15 seconds to empower your next uh, sp sp uh, what is it? specific spec filler spell. Spec filler spell? To deal 58,000 additional shadow damage on use recklessly, okay, intensify the power of the spell forge, increasing its damage by 25% until shortly after leaving combat. The spell forge's power can be focused up to five times at full power, gain 1,021 haste for six seconds when empowering your spec filler spell. Uh, beware glimpses of dimensions better left unseen. One minute cooldown. We have the Abyssal Effigy strength based uh equip abyssal hunger builds within you every 60 seconds growing in strength up to three times on use give into your dark darkest impulses unleashing umbral fury frothing gluttony or abyssal detonation based on your accumulated hunger one minute cooldown so far two one minute cd trinkets sound pretty damn good to me creeping coagulum intellect based trinket on use Feed the coagulum, redirecting 20% of all healing done until 583,000 healing has been consumed. Once sated, the coagulum bursts to heal up to five injured allies for 350 plus thousand increased per target. Lingering uh, effluvia causes affected allies next attacks to deal an additional 88,000 shadow damage increase based on overhealing done by the coagulum a minute and a half CD. Foul behemoths uh, Shelisera. Kelacara, Kelacara, I don't know, whatever. Uh, strength based. On use, inject an enemy with digestive venom, dealing 400,000 damage over 20 seconds. While active, your attacks and abilities against the target restore 14.1k health. Can occur more than uh, than every and every one second. Overhealing from this effect permanently increases your maximum health by the same amount, decaying rapidly upon leaving combat. Co combat not come back jesus christ a minute and a half second cooldown sorry it's been a long day of recording <laughs> a lot of videos for this alpha i can barely speak but yeah this seems like a pretty cool tank trinket i like it i mean it could be a trinket for anyone really could be a good trinket to use um uh during a high burst aoe moment in a raid gigantic acid acid gland strength base on use spray your target with volatile acid dealing 5200 nature damage every one second for 20 seconds your abilities intensify the acid's damage by an additional 5200 per second for the remaining duration and splash up the five nearby enemies for 520 nature damage per stack two minute cd by the way this one was another minute and a half cd this was two minute cd that's pretty cool uh gruesome syringe that's what i'm talking about on use two minute cd uh, intellect based. Apply a dark miasma to your ally target and let the science begin. Absorbing the next 1.6 million healing received from you for up to 10 seconds. Complete the experiment by removing the absorb before it expires. Success grants you and your ally 3,500 verse and a shield absorbing 840,000 damage for 20 seconds. Additional side effects will occur. <laughs> Two minute CD. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's an intellect-based trinket, but that, that'd be pretty cool for a tank. If you're off tanking or something, I'd heal myself. Uh, haste trinket. Ooh, 1332 haste. Why can't it just be elite, bro? Just Maybe when it goes through 4 out of 4, it becomes elite. Malfunctioning cartel communicator. Your spells and abilities have a very high chance to power the communicator and receive a snippet of cryptic instructions from somewhere in the beyond. Collecting 10 snippets deciphers them to reveal your next task. It's probably nothing to compare uh, to... Uh, to compare it to gain a hundred wait how much 12,578 strength for 15 seconds damn okay uh Obanax's mercurial egg uh no stats here carefully balance the eggs incubation while stationary gain 146 strength every one second up to 30 times diminishes while moving 
while moving, gained 140 of your highest secondary stat every one second, up to 30 times diminishes while stationary. Additional stacks above 20 grant 60% reduced benefit. On you, suspend the eggs incubation state for 20 seconds, 2 minutes CD. Silk Grand Shadow Arsenal, strength based. Equip, assume a martial stance based on the last weapon drawn. Use, Shirkian Flourish. Draw dual swords from the arsenal to rend your target, dealing 457,000 shadow damage over six seconds. Gain 443 parry and 295 avoidance until the next weapon is drawn. One minute CD. I got to see how that goes. I haven't seen a vendor on the alpha yet that we can like talk to to get all these trinkets and stuff. Spy Master's Web, with uh, which is a mastery trinket. Your damaging spells dispatch a spider to spy on your foes, increasing your intellect by 88 per report received. Stacks up to 40 times. This effect may only occur every six seconds. Um, on use, use your accumulated knowledge to strike when the time is right, granting 846 intellect per report for 20 seconds and consuming their passive effect 20 second cooldown. Sounds like a boomkin trinket. Swarm Lord's Authority, strength based. Summon a scarab every 20 seconds that retrieves a fortifying chunk of flesh from your target. Scarabs deal 8.4 thousand physical damage and reduce your damage taken by 50% until 48 thousand damage has been prevented. On you, send your swarm into a frenzy, summoning 12 scarabs over 3 seconds to ravage your foes on a 1 minute CD. Tank Trinket, looks good to me. It even has the uh, TOGC icon for it. Void Reaper's Chime. Uh, agility Trinket. I think it's the first agility trinket we've seen, right? Oh, no, there's been a few strength agi ones. Okay. Your abilities have a high chance to summon a Phantom Ethereal, dealing 120,000 shadow damage to your target and 10.8k shadow damage to all other enemies caught in its path. If the target is below 35% health, this effect summons two additional phantoms at 25% effectiveness. So it seems like this and a weapon combine. So this is uh, Kieveza's Cruel Implement. So this is the Void Reaper's Chime to combine with the Void Reaper's Warp Blade. So this is a fist weapon, unfortunate. Uh, Agi Stam Crit. Your attacks have a high chance to apply Queen's Bane to your target, dealing 97,000 shadow damage over 10 seconds. Now, if you have the set piece, it says Void Reaper's Chime always summons additional phantoms against enemies afflicted by Queen's Blade. Wow. So that's pretty OP if you have both. A little disappointed that a rare item is a fist weapon and I'm a paladin. Kind of sucks. But those are the trinkets. Which one of these do you think sound busted, OP, or broken? The tank ones seem pretty cool. I think my favorite one is the... Um... Was it the syringe? No, no, that's not the one. Could be the syringe. The syringe, the haste one's not too bad. The acid gland is pretty cool too. A lot of the trinkets. We'll see. We'll see. We gotta test them once we start raid testing. And let's look at the dungeons. So we got the Arakara City of Echoes. Let's take a look at all the trinkets in here. You know, because these are gonna be dungeon trinkets for season one, so some of them are OP. Uh, Arakara Sack Brood, nine thirty four haste. Equip. Your abilities have a chance to stir the sack. Giggity. Releasing an egg which grants you 794 strength. Each egg hatches after a minute, and the new brood attacks your next target, inflicting 58,000 nature damage over 8 seconds. Ceaseless Swarm Gland. Strength-based. The gland releases pheromones which attract the ceaseless swarm, surrounding you with a high chance to retaliate against attackers, inflicting 10,000 nature damage over 6 seconds and reducing damage dealt to you by 4.6k. Harvester's Edict. Agi-based. Your spells and abilities have a chance to summon a blood worker to deliver volatile black blood to your target, exploding for 12, 121,000 shadow damage split between all nearby enemies on impact. Intercepting the delivery allows you to siphon its power, instead increasing your mastery by 1868. That actually, I want to see that in action. From the Cinder Brew Meadery, we have three more trinkets. Uh, Cinder Brew Stein. Occasionally share a drink with allies who assist you in combat, granting them 3,100 of their primary staff for 15 seconds and absorbing 23,000 damage. You take a sip as well, granting 635 strength and absorbing 117,000 damage. When you fall below 50% health, you take an energy, uh, excuse me, an emergency sip. This may only occur once every minute. Okay. This feels like one of those trinkets where I'm going to be forced to actually like wear it because <laughs> it, I don't know, I don't, you know, you know, like every expansion has like, oh, you know, hey, Tali, why don't you wear this trinket? Because it increases my stats as a DPS so I can orange parse. Derp, 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 derp. Ravenous Honey Buzzer. Strength based. Call in a ravenous ally and ride off into the sunset 
or 15 yards, whichever is closest, inflicting 244,000 fire damage split between all enemies you ride through a minute and a half CD. Okay. That, that, I want to I want to see that. The icon looks like maybe like a almost like a little hoverboard you can ride or something. Synergistic Brutalizer. Uh, I get it. Intellect based. Your spells have a chance to charge the device and request a backfill barrel near your target's location. Damaging the barrel causes it to explode, inflicting 124,000 fire damage split between nearby enemies. All right. So that's for the Cinder Brew Meadery. Dark Flame Cleft. That was three. Okay. So we have four trinkets in the cleft. Uh, Burren of the Candle King. Oh, this must be the, uh, is this the, yeah, this is the kobold. Oh my God. We get to fight a goddamn candle. That's great. We'll look over the bosses really quick, uh, after we're done here. Uh, intellect based carve a wax copy of your target, which absorbs 50% of the damage taken. The absorption heats up the wax, causing it to melt after absorbing 981,000 damage minute and a half CD. Carved Blazicon wax intellect based. Your spells have a chance to imbue the wax causing it to form a blazing candle for 15 seconds, which increases your verse by 3550, further increased by 373 while you remain within its light. That's OP. Conductor's Wax Whistle, Agi-based. Your attacks have a chance to direct a kobold cart towards your target, sending a careening troop that collides with the enemies, inflicting 214 physical damage split between uh, enemies impacted. All right, that's pretty cool. We've had trinkets like that before. Remnants of Darkness. Your abilities have a chance to call the darkness to you, increasing your strength by 794 up to 3972. Upon reaching full power, the darkness is unleashed, inflicting 6.1 million shadow damage split between nearby enemies over 15 seconds before fading back into the remnant. What? Did I just read? That's got to be a bug, right? <laughs> 6.1 million. I guess if it's shared, even then, that's insane. I mean, I know our health pools are like, like, what, what am I at now? Yeah, yeah. Well, not even a million yet, but I mean, in the dungeons, I was at like at 4.5 million scale to 80. Uh, Priory of the Sacred Flame. Ooh, can't wait to see where we're going in here. Let's say three trinkets, Bursting Light Shard. Intellect like base, summon a Bursting Light Spawn, which sacrifices its health to unleash bursts of light, inflicting zero holy damage split between nearby enemies every 5.2 seconds while it lives. Signet of the Priory. Raise your signet to the light, increasing your highest secondary stat by zero for 20 seconds. Your act inspires nearby signet bearers within your party, granting them zero of the same stat. Obviously, that'll be fixed. Tome of Light's Devotion. Advance to the 50 verses of Inner Resilience, reading as you are attacked. Inner Resilience increases your armor by 72,000 and grants your attacks a chance to invoke a ward which absorbs 13,000 magic damage. When finished, sift through the passages to another chapter on use. Sift through the passages in the tome with increased radiance. One and a half minute CD. Hmm. I like the armor. I like the absorb. There'll probably be a weak order that says it's on this cycle. Hit it now, you know, to give you this, to give you that. Uh, the Dawnbreaker dungeon. Three trinkets. Morel Moreldar's Toll. Intellect Trinket. Release a toll of holy light upon the target, inflicting 105,000 holy damage. The next five allies to attack the target will receive the Blessing of Meraldar, increasing their verse by 941 for 10 seconds, one and a half minute CD. Void Packstone. Strength-based. Your attacks have a chance to call to the pack, exploding for 6,000 60,911 shadow damage split between en uh, nearby enemies and increasing your haste by 467 for 10 seconds. Your death breaks the pact, causing a violent explosion. Oh, that's violent. Empowering Crystal of uh, Anub Ikaj. Agility-based and intellect. Your spells and abilities have a chance to let loose a nascent empowerment from the crystal, increasing a random secondary stat by 2206 for 20 seconds. We'd love to see the uh, proc rate on that. Now, the Rookery, which you might have seen in our previous videos, uh, has a charged Storm Rook Plume, Agi based. Channel the power of the storm to crash down on the target location, dealing 389,000 nature damage split between nearby enemies, one and a half minute CD. Uh, Entropic Scarden Core, it is crit based. Your spells have a chance to destabilize the Void Energy, releasing a Corrupted Fragment. Retrieving a Fragment briefly infuses you with its power, increasing your intellect by 3573 for 15 seconds. Sigil of Algarian Concordance. Uh, anyone could use it, apparently. Your abilities have a chance to call an Earthen Ally to your aid, supporting you in combat. 
Those are the tricky trinkets right there. Those are tricky trinkets. Get the Skarmorak Shard, Strength Base. Grasp the Shard tightly to enrich yourself with the Crystalline Energy. Increasing your mastery by 3736 for 15 seconds on a minute and a half CD. When you have it equipped, the Shard draws in Remnant Energy from defeated enemies. Increasing your mastery by 186 for 15 seconds up to five times. Uh, mastery Base. On use, charge the Crystal to summon a Rift that draws power from nearby enemies, inflicting 848,000 shadow damage over six seconds. When the Rift collapses, its drawn energy returns to you and increases your intellect by 953 for 20 seconds. Further increase for each enemy struck. Two minute cooldown. Overclocked Girarang Launcher. On use, launch the superheated Girarang, inflicting 115,000 flame strike damage to enemies, losing heat as it cuts through them. Two minute CD. Your melee attacks have a chance to crank the launcher's gears, decreasing its cooldown by five seconds and heating up your weapon, which causes your next attack to inflict 83,000 additional fire damage. And then Scrap Singer's Symphony, which is intellect-based. Your healing abilities have a chance to call the nearby metal to form a shield around an ally, absorbing 107,000 damage. A shield reacts explosively to fire, inflicting 14.1 thousand fire damage to nearby enemies when struck. City of Threads, which I think has the Court of Stars icon, unless it's different or something. Let me see. Kind of like the same enemies, though. And for the trinkets uh, in this final dungeon, four of them, we have Cyril Concoctory. Intellect base, your spells have a chance to inspire you to experiment on an ally, enhancing them in unforeseen ways for 20 seconds. Oppressive Orator's Larynx. Your attacks have a chance to stir the larynx, allowing its dark whispers to influence you. Each whisper flows through your mind for 30 seconds, gaining 635 strength. On use, wave the larynx in the air. To release a tormenting course, inflicting 707,000 shadow damage over three seconds, split between nearby enemies. Your whispers leave to join the chorus, increasing its damage before falling silent. Two minute CD. Twin Fang Instruments. This is a, a big read. Agility based. Open the pouch and draw NX's Shadow Blade to quickly strike at enemies in front of you, inflicting 28,000 shadow damage to all enemies hit. You may use the pouch up to zero additional times. Within until cancel before it seals itself to magically recharge its contents. Preview. Second strike. Once the pouch, uh, uh, open the pouch and draw VX's frost blade to launch a long range inflicted 56,000 uh, frost damage split between enemies. Third strike. Draw the blades once more to perform both strikes at the same time. Two minute cooldown. Vicious coagulum. Intellect based. Your excessive healing attracts nearby shadow energy to your party. Storing up to 40,000 healing and restoring the target's health when they receive damage. On use, you channel the Coagulum's power, directing all current shadow energy to your target. And folks, for these first version, these first version of the alpha, those are the trinkets for the dungeons and the raid. Obviously, everything is subject to change. Let me ask you all a question. Is it me or do the wordings for the trinkets get crazier and more confusing as the expansions go on. Like, I don't know. It just used to be like, yo, man, you do this and you proc and you do a lot of damage. Now it's like sift through the pages, you know, talk to an egg. And after you talk to it enough, it explodes and splooshes egg juice all over your face. You take that juice, you throw it at your enemy and you split the damage between fucking everybody. Like, what the fuck? Why do I have to read a novel to understand a trinket nowadays, man? You got to be like a rocket physiologist. God damn it. Let me know what y'all think. Good trinkets, though. I mean, some of them make sense. Some of them don't. I don't know. I just, it's just, I don't know. It feels like my trinket videos have gone up by 10 minutes in expansion because I have to just read 50 more goddamn lines.